Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Hubbard, I'm Penj, and welcome to Kaiyu Wan, which is a Chinese city builder game. So we're going all the way back to China in the 7th or 8th century, I'm not quite sure which one it is if I'm being honest, but you know what, it's a long time ago, so come back with me in time if you will, and we're going to pick things up during the Chinese Tang Dynasty, where we have to go and build a mighty city. So we need homes and farms and trade routes and defence, and if we can, I would like to get some of those big kind of pointy pagodry towery things we can see on the screen there, because they look very good and also very excitingly we can try to build a palace a big fancy showy off palace that might be a bit of a big challenge and I don't know if we can build a palace on the levels that we're going to have a look at today but if we can't we'll just build some other exciting things we'll put down lots of decoratives and make it look amazing anyway despite the lack of a palace we'll see what we can do so without any further ado let's pop back to 7th or 8th century China and get building okay so first up we have to pick a chapter but there's only one available right now so we will pick a new dynasty thank you you very much and then look at that right there we have an answer to the question we're going back to the 7th century not the 8th century that's very good to know we can now set the time machine for the right year and end up at the right point in history wonderful in the 7th century Li Yuan established the Tang dynasty which is another unified dynasty in China the establishment of the Tang dynasty is full of opportunities there is a place called Luling in the south of the empire and needs an official to build a new city this is undoubtedly a good opportunity for you to make contact contributions. Yes it is, it sounds a wonderful plan. Let's go and build the city of Luling in 7th century China. Okay, okay, here we go. So we do have some lovely, happy, friendly tutorial bits and bobs to get out of the way. The game would like us to build a road, first of all. I think we can just about manage that game. However, before we go and do that, can we answer a very important question indeed? Is spacebar pause? No, spacebar is not pause. I cannot confirm that spacebar is pause. Because it isn't, oh dearie me game. Oh, that's not good, is it? You're going to have to work very hard to impress us from now on game, dearie me. So we have to go up here and press pause like some sort of pause peasant. Oh dear. Okay, right, never mind, never mind. Hopefully we can do some amazing things in the game and we'll forget all about that. But there we go, that's a little bit unfortunate game. Okay, so what we've got to do, build a road with a length of 12. Okay, I think we can just about manage that. So that's kind of flickering on and off. I kind of feel like we should click on that. Okay, so build a road. It costs two money. How much money do we have? Oh, 40,000. We've got loads of money. Absolutely loaded. Okay, so I think then if we build a big road, I mean, how big is the, how big is the map? How big can we go? Um, okay, oh, there's a camel. Hello, camel. Uh, there is a yellow thing. Oh yeah, on the map, look, there's kind of like a line. I wonder if that's the edge of our city, if that's our kind of city limits or whatever, that kind of yellow thing there. So we can't build, say, over here because that's out of the limits. Okay, that seems, that seems fine. That's quite a big build area. I wonder if that's some sort of trade route type thing, because it does look like a kind of a path, doesn't it, coming down this way. I wonder if we build something over here, to connect to some sort of trade route caravan silk road type thing just there that might be what we do but okay so i think if we are going to build a road maybe we build it going from near the river because i imagine we might do some fishing at some point and then kind of bring it down here into the middle just have one kind of very big important central main road type thing so if we go say from i don't know um there Bring that, drag that all the way down to say, I don't know, there, 44 tiles long. That seems pretty good because the task is to have it 12 long. So, okay, we've done that. It's all fine, game. Hang on, unpause time. Right, now we need to build some houses. Okay, look, that's fine. Build six straw sheds. Okay, that's fine. It's got to be connected to the road. Okie doke, that's very, very sensible. Um, okay, so down there civilian it costs 10 money we're not i think because it's happy friendly level one i don't think money is going to be an issue so okay here we go um let's get some of these in uh oh they just snapped the road that's quite good okay so if we say put that one there um i think do you know what we could hang on hang on what we could do is hang on have that one there that one there and that one there so that's three and they've all appeared pretty quickly. I can't zoom in any more than this. I would like to zoom in a teeny tiny bit more, but I can't quite do it, which is a bit of a shame, but never mind. And then if we build a road going out like that, we can have a little sort of tiny city block type thing. That's quite fun. So I'll put that in like that, that in like that, and that in like that. And when that's done, 
That's going to be six completed straw sheds. Lovely stuff. And they're working on the final one. Okay, building wells. If the water demands of residents is met, the straw shed can be upgraded to a thatched cottage. Okay, so we've got that kind of uh, basic supply and demand thing above going on. Um, right, okay, so build a well and attach it to the road. Okay, so everything's got to be linked to a road. That's fine. Uh, there is a well, 45 money. I think if we put it there on that corner, it's going to be near to everything, isn't it? Oh yeah, look, at the very top of that path, it does go a little bit red to show that that's quite a distance to go and get your water. So if we put that there, that's near all those houses. Yeah, okay, pop a well down. Uh, there's an icon floating above the well. What does that mean? What does that mean? Uh, oh, I think it said nobody's working in the building, but then that's popped up. In China in the 7th century, most of the buildings were wooden structures which were prone to fire. Yeah, that, that is kind of the way of things. Watchtowers need to be built to prevent fire. Okie doke, so get us a watchtower. Did they have things in? The building works well. Oh, okay, it works well. I see what you've done there, very good. Um, yeah, five people work there, and we've got 45 population. Oh no, there's somebody walking around. There's somebody there, hello. You're a water carrier, I'm going to fetch water. Oh, that's good, oh, that's good, well done. Well done, you lot. Oh, and look, the building's upgrading. So hang on, what are they before? Straw Shed is now a thatched cottage. Okay, so I imagine we can fit, yeah, double the amount of people can live in the thatched cottage. Oh, that's very good. Residents need food. Yeah, we haven't quite got to that point yet. Um, hang on, hang on. We need to do a fire prevention thing before it all burns down. Um, hang on a second. A patrol tower. I mean, why don't we put that next to the well? That'd make sense. They're going to need some water, I imagine, to deal with the fire. Put them next to where the water is. So, okay, so pop that in. They can work on that. And I like that building. I do like the building. It's a fancy pointy roof building with an exciting kind of roof on. That's quite good. Right, so do people work there? Six people work there. Okay, that's good. That's good. We like the fact that we've got enough population to go and get all the jobs covered. So now we've just got to wait for these buildings to upgrade, have we? Okay, that's fine. That's okay. So a little bit of time. Yeah, I think... Are they dropping? I think what happens is the water carriers are literally taking the water from the well and dropping it off. Then it's not sort of going, yeah, okay, right, they're covered by the water. They're in a certain zone. The water carrier's got to pick up the water and then walk along to this house. So if we watch, they've sort of... Yeah, there you go. Look, they dropped it off. And now that house has got water, it's upgraded itself to a thatched cottage or whatever it was. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's quite fun. Right, reclaim farmland. Yeah, that'll make sense because people are saying they were a bit peckish. Uh, the next step is to reclaim farmland and plant crops. Okay, so click there. Build some farmland. Uh, where there are small yellow flowers on the grassland, the fertility is relatively large, which is suitable for planting crops. Okay, yellow flowers. Does it mean these? Um, or are they yellower flowers? They look like white flowers to me, but maybe... Maybe if you squint a bit, there could be yellow flowers. Um, okay, so I think I can't see any other flowers around. There's a few over there, but again, they look like white flowers to me. Uh, I think, I think that's it. I think they are the yellow flowers. Okay, right, let's get a field. So farmland. Oh, okay, another flickery thing. Small farmland. Okay. Uh, oh, right, okay, it's a predetermined field size. I thought we were going to sort of zone it out, but no. I mean... Do we just tack it onto the end of the road just there? That would make sense. Just put it right near where the people live. After the grain harvest, you need to store the harvested grain in the warehouse. Build a warehouse. Okie doke. That's absolutely fine. We can do that. So that's down there. And it's in there. Okay. So build a warehouse to sort of fit. I mean, do we, do we put a road? Do you know what? Hang on. Let's get a road. Because I do like some lovely roads. Um... I think we kind of reserve that down there for farming. So maybe we have a nice road coming down the side of there. And then we can put the warehouse along there. I think that seems like a good plan. So pop that in like that. And hopefully as well. What does that mean? What's that icon mean? Is that an unemployed icon? Is that what that is? Yeah, unemployed. So hopefully the people who... There we go, look. There we go. So now they can go and work in the warehouse and work on the fields and what have you. Set up the warehouse to accept grain. Okay, so click the setting button in the interface and then go and accept grain. A warehouse has four areas. Each area can set the type of goods to be accepted. Oh, that's quite good. 
Okay, so go to the warehouse. Um, oh, hang on. Are there not enough people? There are now not enough people to go and work on the farmland. We're short a person. Okay, we can work on that. How about then we get uh, another... If we put some more houses down, so one, two, and three. There is a bit of a boulder at the back of the house, but that's absolutely fine. And then in here, what do we have to do? Grain. Uh, okay, setting. Grain. Medium priority. Priority. They got it right there. Look, but that's okay. It's fine. Uh, okay, so yeah, grain. Put grain into there. I mean, is it worth putting grain into number two as well? I'm not quite sure. How quickly is it going to take to to grow? I don't know. Still, 100 grain in the warehouse. Uh, currently, crop maturity only five percent. Okay, it might take quite a long time. They're still sowing the seeds. They've not even got the entire sort of field sown yet, let alone getting it growing and stuff. So, okay. So they're still sowing seeds. A little bit there. I think you need to do some sowing. Right, the farmland is well staffed and the crops are growing well. That is good. We do have a number of unemployed people again, which is a bit of a nuisance, but never mind. Never mind. Hang on. And when we've done this, when we've got the grain stored away in the warehouse, we'll no doubt build lots of other things. You can go and work in those places. Just enjoy the time off for a bit. Enjoy the time off. It's going to be quite nice. But yeah, that's taking a long time. That's taking quite a long time to get to maturity. Jim, I do like the sort of uh, the interface and the visuals of this. They're quite sort of, uh, sort of late 90s kind of you know, city builder, RTS sort of uh, style. They've got that kind of feel to them. I mean, you know what we're looking at? I know that that is a house. And, you know, the people are dashing around in the fields. I know what the things are, but yeah, they're sort of not massively detailed. They've got that sort of slightly sort of, uh, sort of, you know, less defined quality to them that you did find in things in the sort of late 90s. I'm thinking things like sort of, um, you know, SimCity 2000 and stuff like that. So, yeah, the buildings are OK. And, you, know, you know what it is, but you know, other city builds and things are way more detailed. You know, the people sort of dash about, but they're not fluidly dashing about. They're just sort of dashing about, and yeah, they're sort of flickering between things. I quite like that. I do quite like that. Uh, okay, the field is uh, being harvested. We've jabbered along long enough for that to happen. That's good. Uh, right, planning a market. Markets and shops are needed to distribute the grain in the warehouse to the citizens. Okay, and now we need to plan a market near to our residential area. Okay, so build a market. Okay, no, right, slow time down a bit. Uh, right, business and a small market. Okay, I think then... Uh, oh, crikey, that is not a small market. That's a big market. Can we put it there? If we put it there, it's quite near to everything else. Okay, so pop a market in. Build a grain store. We've already got a grain store. Is that not a grain store? That's a grain warehouse. Are they different things? After planning the market, you need to build stores in the market. Now, please build a grain store in the market. Um, okay, so click on the market and then... Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. So hang on, so hang on, go go out of that. So the market, oh, right, so the market at the moment is just, it's just a big kind of empty space. It's a big empty sort of flat paved space with nothing in it. And we can go down here and right, that's flickering on. So shop and then a grain shop. Do we then pop that in over there? Oh, that's quite nice. So we click on that and then we set up a little shop in the market to sell grain. So if we were growing, I don't know, vegetables, we could have a little kind of you know, green grocers. And if we were catching fish, we'd set up a little kind of fishmonger kind of uh, shop on the market. That's quite good. I like that. That's quite a nice touch. Okay, more than 150 people live in simple tile house or more advanced houses. Uh, progress, naught out of 150. What's a simple tile house? <laughs> Is that the next one up? Residents need food. They can get water from a well. Um... Okay, we've got 180 people living in the city right now. But yeah, we need to get to 150 people living in. Yeah, it's a simple tile house. I imagine we've got to get these upgraded a bit, have we? So hang on, move time on pretty quickly. When we get that grain into there and people then go and buy the grain, does that mean that... Hang on, yeah, there's people out there, look. Actually got your residents coming in. So does that mean you're now going to upgrade? Yes, simple tile houses are appearing so because they've got grain from the market they've suddenly decided to upgrade their house 
They've got access to tiles and things. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. There we go. Already done. Hang on a second. Oh, crikey. Um, in addition to food and water, these services of pharmacies are also necessary. Okay, so build a pharmacy and place the medicine shop near the roadside. Okie dokie, this is all fine. Just, you know, basic stuff, really. Uh, right, a herbal medicine shop. I think, hang on. If we put that... Uh, ooh, oh, oh. It's November already and it's getting a little bit snowy. Okay, right, that's fine. So if we run a road, say, along there a bit, I think if we get the, uh, hang on, where is it? Safety and health. The medicine shop just there, that's next to the market. So on your day out, you could go out here, pick up some grain from the grain shop and then nip next door to get any kind of, you know, herbal remedies you might need. There we go. More than 200 people live in brick houses or more advanced houses. Oh, okay, right. Our demands are getting a little bit higher in terms of these goals over here. So I imagine when they then go and pick up some lovely herbal medicine, it means they can upgrade the house again to whatever's next. The residents here can't buy from the medicine shop. Why? It is pretty much literally across the road. It, you, if you had a good arm on you, you could chuck a stone. It is a stone's throw away. Why can you not do that? Is it just because they've not gone there yet? Um... The pharmacy service has not been obtained. Okay, I mean, they've upgraded. They've now got a brick house. So because they've got access to medicine, they've also gone and found some bricks somewhere down the back of the sofa or something. I don't know. But okay, so I think if we just run time on a bit quickly, these houses will slowly start improving when people bring medicine back. Yeah, okay, that's exciting. 157 out of 200. Ah, there we go. Right, build a clay pit. Okie doke. The production of ceramic needs to use clay as raw material. I mean, where they got the clay to make the bricks from for their brick houses, I do not know, but we're not going to ask any questions. Okay, so we need to place clay pits near the water. And we have a path going out near the water for not exactly this purpose. I was thinking more fishing, but there we go. That will do. Okay, so it can be built in a place with high water content. Okay, so near to the edge of the water. That's fine. So go to their industry. Okay, so there are quite a lot of industry buildings, but we've got a clay pit. So if we put that, I mean, if we put it right there, in fact, as near to the edge of the water as it could be without actually falling in and splashing about. So yeah, put that there. They've then dug that. Still building it at the moment. Right, so we've got enough people to... Can we see how many people are doing stuff? Um, 248 people, 54 people working. 25 unemployed people out of the 248. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Because, yeah, not all our population are working age. They might be too young or too old or whatever. Build a ceramic kiln. Okie doke. Um, ah, right. Okay. We might need a warehouse. I suspect we might need another warehouse. Um, Because they're going to bring the clay. Oh, no, hang on. We can store the clay in here, can't we? Hang on. So store clay in there. So take clay from there and put it into that house, into the warehouse, and then want to get a kiln. Okay, so I think maybe put the kiln out the back over there, and I know it's not connected to a road. Hang on, game. We're okay. Right, there we go. It's now connected to a road. So now people can go and work in there. 21 unemployed people. Okay, move it on nice and quick. So now that's saying I haven't got any clay. But that's okay. And it's going to January. The world seems a little bit less chilly, which is nice. So yeah, as soon as they get that done, they'll get some clay. Take the clay all the way along here. Put it into there. Then they can make pots. And then they're going to store 400 ceramic in the warehouse. Oh, okay. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Uh, ceramic. There we go. Right. So we're configured to store the ceramic. We just haven't got any yet. Because I think they are taking quite a long time. What's the problem there? I'm waiting for the delivery of clay. Uh, oh, okay. They're still digging it, I think. The factory is fully staffed and in full swing. Okay, so they're producing quite a lot of clay. Does it get up to 100 and they take it away? I'm not quite sure what's happening here. They're on. Produced 100, it says. Uh, and click on you. I'm waiting for the delivery of clay. Is that too far away? I suspect maybe that warehouse is too far away. And I'm pressing spacebar to try to pause things, but it's not working. I'm going to press it like a peasant. Um, okay, I think we have to get another warehouse. I think that one is too far away from the clay pit thingamajig, which is a bit of a bother, but never mind. So 
Uh, don't store clay in there. That can be vacant. We'll build another warehouse, which was in one of these. That one there. Yay. Uh, right, put it there. That'll do. And oh, yeah, hang on a minute. Get that put together. So build that first. Um, and then when it's done, I like the building animations as well. That's quite fun. So when that's done, no one's working in it. We should have enough people to go and work in it. There's only six unemployed people. Okay, so people are there. Um, right, store clay. There we go. Yay. And yeah, there you go. It, that was too far away. Right. Okay. That was the problem. So they've made, they've got quite a lot of clay going on in there now. Is that going to be near enough to that though? I think that should be okay. So let's make sure they can do that. So the clay goes in and then there is the sort of uh, person coming from the, whatever that is, the kiln. I think they've now gone out and grabbed the clay from there and they're on the way back. Look, so they can then put the clay into the kiln and the kiln can do some stuff. And there they are out the front of the kiln. It does look a bit like they're in high-vis jackets. I'm sure they're not. Or maybe they are. Maybe you know, health and safety is an important thing around there. There's, you know, hot, hot things around. Maybe they're being very cautious. Okay, so they're now over there doing that. So we can see up here how much... Ooh, hang on. What was that? Something changed just then. It's a medium grain shop. It's so popular that it's turned into a medium grain shop. That's been sort of, uh, that sort of, you know, uh, I don't know, improved itself. That's good. That's exciting. Um, yeah, we're not making much in the way of surround. Oh, there you go. We've almost made, ah, right. So 100 is now over in the warehouse. Oh, crikey. This could take quite a long time, couldn't it? <laughs> that could take an awfully long time to get that done. Um, I think it might be worth getting some more houses in. Just because I think some more people might be quite useful. Let's, um, let's get that in like oh we can't get rid of the rocks we can't get rid of those rocks that's that's a bit of a nuisance isn't it um okay that's that is a bit of a bother okay bring that round like that then uh, i mean have we got have we got decoratives are we allowed to put decoratives down game i'd love that if we could i um, have two things like that but yeah we can't build on there and there but two more houses I and mean, if we get up to that that's another potential 80 people living here which is good so there we go. Right. So yeah, a couple of unemployed people, but that's OK. 200 ceramics stored away. Those buildings are rapidly upgrading themselves because they can get water from the well. They can get grain. They can get medicine. It's all looking wonderful. So, yep. Yeah, OK, fine. Let's just let time tick on and we'll get another 200 ceramics stored away in the warehouse. Oh, that's quite pretty. It's gone dark and all the lights have come on. It does look quite nice in the dark. Look at that. That's very pretty. I like the grain shop. Those lights outside the grain shop are exciting. The kind of the hanging sort of, I don't know, hexagonal kind of light things. They're quite fun. I like those. It does look good, though. Oh, there we go. Build a ceramic shop. Right, so we've stored enough ceramic in the warehouse, but nobody can buy it. So at the moment, the people in the warehouse over there are going, ha ha ha, look at all our you know, pots and jugs and vases and things. So now we've got to put a thing on the market so people can go and buy them. OK, I like that. That's really good with the market thing. I think that is quite good. OK, so a shop and a ceramic shop. That can go just there. And that's wonderful. Beautify the environment. Yes, game. Yes. Now you are talking. This is what we wanted to see. Lovely decoratives. Citizens want a more beautiful living environment, don't we all? Now they need to build some peach trees near their houses to beautify the environment. Okay. And then we might put down some more things as well, if we're being honest, game. Uh, right. Okay. Down here. So tree. Okay. What else is there? Some sort of... Yeah, that thing there, like a little sort of, I don't know, sort of pagodry covered structure thing. And I can't quite work out what that is. But OK, how many of these? One peach tree. One. Really? I mean, we're going to put it there. Um, oh, hang on, hang on. No, they were different things. So that is a variety of trees. So a peach tree, a red one and a white sort of pale looking one. And that's going to be different kind of different buildings and that's going to be, I don't know, parks or something. Okay, that's quite fun. Right. So one peach tree can go just there on that corner. That is quite a good place for it, to be fair. Um, yeah, had I known that we had to put these down like this, I would have kept a bit of room for these things. Um, I think as well, I mean, yeah, do we keep that corner, keep that corner free? We've built the peach tree and it's nice. It's a lovely, I can't zoom in anymore. I keep trying to zoom in. I also don't know if we can turn the camera angle around. I know we can do that. Ah, there we go. Yes, we can. Okay. So yeah, we can sort of um, 
See the peach tree there? It's got a little kind of stone bit around the edge and some pretty flowers and things. That's nice. But, um, but yeah, okay, only one of those required. So what's that now? More than 300 people live in small size residences or more advanced houses. Okay, so what have we got to do now? So that's got to go... Uh, oh, hang on, liquor. Is it, is it to do with ceramics? They need a particular amount of ceramics, do they? Is that it? The surrounding environment is uncomfortable, it says there. Um, I don't quite know what we can do about that because we've put the one peach tree in. I'm not entirely sure where we can put any more. Can we get any more peach trees in? I don't think we can. I think there's no room for them. We could have the heads up about this. Um, yeah, look, we can't... There's just things in the way. We'll put one over there, look. And we could put one down here. But I don't know if that's going to help you guys. We should have known about this before and it would have been really helpful. Uh, they happen to get ceramic from the market. Okay, what we'll do is... Right, move time on nice and quick. We could, in theory try and help us meet that goal get another little house in there and another one in there and then put one there and one there get some roads going around the edge like that and then we could just fill that with trees just a little kind of lovely uh, a peach tree lined avenue there to make things very pretty along there which does a nice and they're upgrading nice and quick anyway uh, some unemployed kind of stuff going on because, of course, more houses going on over there. But that's absolutely fine. Okay, so at the moment, nobody is upgrading their house, which is a bit of a nuisance, if we're being honest. Why not? Uh, there's too few jobs. Okay, do you know what we could do about that? We could put down another field. A field is good. A field requires 15 people to go and work on it, and that's quite a lot. So, um, yeah, if we drop that in like that so put a field in there and then have that coming across like that and that down like that and then in the middle hang on hang on this is perfect in the middle we can just put a load of lovely trees oh that's actually quite pretty that's quite nice okay one of the houses has upgraded although i couldn't tell you which one. Oh, it's over here it's the fancy new ones oh they hope to have Taoist temples nearby. Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on. Hold fire on that for a second. Um, too few jobs. Uh, the environment is uncomfortable. I mean, yeah, that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Because I can't make that any better. I can't do anything about that. It's it's just a bit unfortunate. We could put... Hang on, what's the problem with that house? The surrounding environment is uncomfortable. You've got a peach tree opposite to your house. You've got a lovely, lovely peach tree right there bit rude um we could put that there uh has that sorted them out uh the surrounding environment is uncomfortable i don't really understand what we're supposed to do about this unless we knock down some houses and put in a load of trees can we do that clean up uh okay i think hang on pause time for a second we might need to say knock down these houses here rebuild them along there and have plenty of peach trees dotted around the place because people just aren't very happy about this at the minute, are they? Um, I mean, we have got... Hang on, hang on. Can we rotate it round a little bit? Uh, like that. We have got stuff up here. We could put some houses up here. We could put some houses there. That'd be quite good. So pop some buildings here. Uh, where are we? Yeah, so get that. We'll have, I know, one house there. And one house there. And then we'll have a house like that and a house like that. Right, so four spots to build on. And we'll bring a road around the back because we like that kind of thing like that. Hang on, hang on, hang on. And then put a thing. Oh, crikey, hang on a minute. Like that going to there. Then that down like that. Bring that across. And then in here, we can just have peach trees. Lovely peach trees. We'll have two, four over there. So hopefully these people here can be delighted with their new homes complete with peach tree, I don't know, sort of adornments with them. Hopefully that's going to be good enough. There's going to be a lot more unemployment going on, but these houses should possibly sort of begin to sort of upgrade themselves pretty quickly. Um, and then maybe, is it worth getting another one of those in? Is it worth having another one of those? Uh, we store the clay. That's where we store the ceramics. We store the clay in there. I mean, is it worth getting a sort of, uh, where is it, one of those things, a kiln set up there? 
Is that a bit too far to do that? I think it might be ever so slightly too far. Hang on, that might be okay. That might be okay. If we pop that in, that's going to give some people some work. That's good. We like that. Um, what else can we do? What else can we do to make this kind of work? Oh, crikeys. 73 out of 300. It's those houses there that have upgraded. <laughs> um, yeah, they're just going about Taoist temples. Uh, the surrounding environment is uncomfortable. But why is it? Oh, we've got a population of 500 and a little kind of thing has appeared. Yeah, again, sort of that that's a very sort of you know, late 90s video game thing to happen. That little tiny video there it reminds me of um, like Civilization 2. They had like little tiny videos pop up where you built a wonder and stuff. That was quite fun. Uh, OK, what else can we do? What else can we do? Do you know what? Patrol towers. We might need some more of these. This could be quite good. Put one over there. That might make people feel safe. And we'll put one over there. Okay, so hopefully that's going to be quite good. And then um, a well. Let's put another well there. And we'll have another one maybe over that side. So pop a well just there. Is that making people happy? Are people happy? Okay, unemployment's gone. That's kind of vanished. That's good. The surrounding environment is uncomfortable. Okay. That's, I mean, I mean, you live next to a peach tree, which we got told to build <laughs> to make the environment nicer. I don't know what else you would like us to do, you folks. Um, the surrounding environment is uncomfortable. Uh, residents need food. They need water. OK, right, let's run time on nice and quick. We're just going to run time on for a good long while and we're going to see what happens. Are people going to begin upgrading their houses now things are looking a little bit better? I don't know. Oh, hang on. Yeah, one house must have upgraded because we've now got 95 out of the 300 we need. So maybe we are slowly getting there. But yeah, not quite sure how we overcome the I don't like the environment thing when we can't do much about that. The game should have told us earlier on. Bit of a heads up to keep some space around to put trees dotted about the place. But no, well, hang on. What's that? Uh, the house going to be downgraded. The service of the medicine shop has disappeared. Oh, hang on. The medicine shop is too busy. So maybe, maybe we get another medicine shop in. That might help out a bit. Herbal medicine shop. Pop that over there. And can we get another one? Just pop another one in over there. Just get many medicine shops. It's all going to be fine. Right, so run time on nice and quick. That should sort the unemployment out. Plenty of water. Um, you're complaining about the medicine shop. It, there's one across the road from you now, folks. Come on now. You live across the road from one as well. <laughs> it's just there. Go go, go and get your medicine. There you go. Have they upgraded? Uh, they've gone to a brick house. Uh, oh, maybe they downgraded and then upgraded again. Um, okay, this is, this is a bit befuddling, if I'm completely honest. How are we supposed to make them live in nicer houses? And that house there is complaining about the environment. They're next to a tree. <laughs> They're next to a lovely tree. Um, put another tree in, and another tree, and another tree. Just, oh, there we go, look. They like it now. Oh, now they're all happy. Now they're delighted with their tree lives. 269, 271, 72. Come on, we can get there. We can get there. Some of these people living in these fancy houses. 40 out of 50. 50 out of 50. Um, I think, I mean, yeah, do they have to have a tree next to their house? That's a little bit silly, isn't it? I think it has to be physically next to the house itself, which does seem a little bit daft, if I'm honest. That makes the early stages game key when you're planning things. Because, yeah, none of these are upgrading if they haven't got a tree literally on them. Uh, we can't sort of put them on the things, can we? No. No. OK, that's that's a bit weird game. I can't say I like that too much, but never mind. Right, what we'll do is then, hang on, to get this sorted... Get rid of that road bit there. And the road can kind of run around a bit like that. And then we've got room for a house just there. And then in here, look, lo and behold, we can put down many lovely trees. And hopefully those people can be delighted with that. Build a trade station. There we go. We got there in the end. Um, ah, there we go. Camel. First click on the icon uh, and then place the trading station in a suitable location. It needs access to goods in the warehouse. So a trading station needs to be built near the warehouse. OK, we've got two warehouses, game. Which one would you like? <laughs> Not quite sure. Um, OK, so click that. Click
click the trade station. Uh, oh, crack, it's massive. It's a huge big thing. Okay, if we put that... Um, uh, oh, hang on. The market's got an end to it. You can walk through the middle of the market, I think. That's like a path going through the middle. Oh, that's quite fun. Um, hang on. I think if we bring that across like that, and then, yeah, so to walk out the end of the market like that, that bit's fine. And then if we build the trade station thing just there, that's near to pretty much everything. There we go. So pop that out there. That's quite a big structure. That's a big old thing, isn't it? Hang on, hurry that up a little bit. Okay, so people working in there, choose a city and establish trade relations. Okay, so click the world map button on the mini map. Uh, oh, down there. Okay. And click on the city named Hidong on the map and then open land trade. And then we want to um, trade some stuff. So we could import ceramics and we could export whatever that is. Um, what is that? I don't know what that is. Yellow stuff. Gold? Grain? I don't know what that is. Whatever. But okay. Right. So we'll go and do that. So click on that. And then, oh, there we go. So there's our city. And we're going to do a land trade with that city there. I mean, my my geography knowledge of this area of China is quite limited. But that, to me, looks like a very, very, very long way. But okay. Um, I mean, yeah, that'll do. We'll import ceramics and we'll export grain. I mean, we are pretty good at doing all that ourselves. But okay, that's fine. We'll just do that. So open a land trade. So yes, please. Oh, and there's a little kind of wibbly path going on. So that is the land trade route. And then also... If we were sort of more coastal or on a slightly bigger river, I imagine we could do water trades. Okay, display place names. Oh, okay. That's a bit of a weird option, but okay. Uh, right, back to our city. So we need to have a trading city completed. I thought that was already done. Right, so set export ceramic. If your merchants are buy ceramic in your city, you also need to set ceramic as an export commodity. Okay, so I click the trading station. Set trade. Okay. And then we have to pick oh, crikey. After trade interface pops up, so it's ceramic in the commodity list to enter the ceramic trade interface. Uh, okay, next page. There's no way I'm going to remember this. And then click the no trading button on the ceramic trading interface and export in the pop up trading status dialog box and confirm. <laughs> what? No trading. Ceramic trade interface. Export. Bought and mm, cry. Okay, I'm just gonna press buttons. Okay, right. So set trade, and there's ceramic. Okay. Uh, what did we do? Right. No trading, and then export, and then just unlimited. So I think that means we are now saying, yep, yeah, absolutely, we can sell as much ceramics as we can do. Oh, so hang on, we're selling ceramics. Is that what we're doing? Is that what we're doing? Right, so set ceramic as an export. Oh, I thought we were buying it in. Right, so we are, we're selling ceramics and buying in grain. The cumulative export of ceramics reached 1,200. <laughs> okay, let's move time on very quickly then, because I don't know how quickly we do that trading. For all I know, that could take hours or days. I'm not quite sure. So, uh, so yeah, okay. I do like the little sort of peach trees in the middle of the farm there. That's quite pretty, isn't it? That's going to look quite nice. Um, I mean, can we see how far along the trade route they are? Can we see anything happening at all? Do we get to see any progress in there? Um, I don't know. Uh, there are no caravans entering at present. Oh, there we go. Right, trade caravan one has come from Hedong. Right, so we... Ah, there we go. They are buying up quite a lot of our ceramics. Oh, that's quite good. Hang on, how many have we got left? Uh, 300 now, but I imagine... Yeah, there we go. There's a little kind of... Um, sort of caravan type thing. Oh, oh, hang on a minute. There's all sorts going on. There's there's camels and all sorts. Oh, that's exciting. We need to sell 100 more ceramics. So we got 100 more ceramics. Yeah, they're stocking it back up over there. Okay, right. So when the next kind of uh, trade lot come in, the next trade delegation. Oh, there we go. Victory. Oh, it is a glorious victory. Okay, hang on. Can we continue to build that city? Can we just take a quick look around at the city that we've worked on? Because, yeah, I quite like it. I quite like that. It looks nice. We didn't get to see what these things were. That's a bit of a shame. I want to see what those things were. And then, yeah, beautify the environment. What are these other options? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Can we find out if we go and have a look at the next level? We're not going to do the next level. 
because I think yeah, we have had a pretty good look at the game, see what it's all about and how it works and its you know, sort of intricacies and the way it does things and such like. So I think yeah, the next level yeah, might take a little while and we've seen kind of the bulk of what the game has to offer you know, to get things started. But I would like to just go and have a look to see if we can figure out what those things are because that's some sort of defence thing. I don't know what that is. I'm not quite sure what that is. So if we pop on to the next level, can we find out what they might be? And also, more important than anything else, can we see what the other lovely kind of decorative items might be? Let's go and take a quick look. Okay, I think this level's all about fighting and armies and military stuff. You should first find the location of iron ore and farmland planting areas in the map so that you can plan the urban pattern. Yeah, and leave gaps for trees, apparently. After getting familiar with the map, you can first build a village with 200 people. Okay, so a little bit less sort of tutorial hold handy with that one, but that's fine. Um, however, just a quick pause button press up there like a pleb. Um, yeah, I can't, oh, hang on, hang on. Trees, a plum tree and a cherry tree. Okay, that's nice. And then we've got pavilions. So we've got a round pavilion, a square pavilion and a hexagonal pavilion. Oh, that's very exciting. Oh, I like those. They look good. And I think they do have a bit more reach than the trees. So it looks like anything next to them gets a nice bonus. Anything two squares away gets yeah, a bit of a beautification bonus. Three squares away, not that much at all. And then it doesn't reach to four squares away, which is a bit of a shame. I think the trees are a little bit smaller. Yeah, they only reach two squares. Okay, right, that's absolutely fine. And can we see what those things are? No, we can't. That's a bit of a nuisance. But you know what? At least we got to look at some lovely trees and some lovely pavilions. Have we got any other things in here? Don't think so. Same sort of shops and things. Kilns and clay pits and agriculture and that kind of stuff. Okay, so I think, yeah, what you'd do is you'd work your way through the levels. And as you play, each level is going to introduce you to different things. So this one would be saying, hey, look, here's iron. You can do some mining and some smelting. And then you can make swords and armor and all that kind of stuff. And then the next level might introduce whatever that might be and so on and so forth. So you play through it a little bit sort of campaign-esque, I suppose. This map is very, very barren. There's some quite nice stuff over near the river, but the rest of it is very deserty. Trade to the route thing going on down there. The camera's going all sorts of bonkers. But yeah, look at it. It's very, very deserty and very bereft of anything at all. I mean, where would you plant? Where would you grow your things? Can't see any kind of flowers. Hang on. Um, go to agriculture and pick. Ooh, large farmland. Uh, there are obstacles in the area. I mean, where would you put that? The land is too barren. Where would you grow things? There's nowhere to grow anything. <laughs> or there's stuff in the way. Hang on, what about a small farm? Can we just find out? I'm now intrigued. I don't need to look at this at all. I just want to know. The land is too barren. The land is upright. You can have some random fields sort of dropped in the middle over there. I find it a bit weird. It's like there are obstacles. Well, you can remove a tree. You're building amazing things and, you know, designing all sorts of wonderful stuff and building towers. You can chop down a tree. But um, yeah, OK, there we go. Never mind. So, yeah, we're not going to have a go at this level. I think we have had a decent look at the game, see what it's all about. And I think we can see sort of how it would progress from this point on. And, you know, I do quite like it. I like a game like this. It's quite nice. It's sort of this was relatively laid back, I think, because it was happy, friendly, sort of, you know, a tutorial type level. But it was OK. Um, I imagine if we have fighting to deal with and attacks and things that might be slightly different and i am intrigued as to how the fighting works but you know what if you if you're that intrigued yourselves you can just go and have a little play of the game it's fine this is the full version it's not early access or a demo or anything this is the full version of the game and um yeah i do quite like it i do like a game like this and it's been it's been good fun it's been very enjoyable um i think yeah i like the as we said before these sort of uh, late sort of 90s early noughties visuals and style to it i think it does look quite good and it works quite well with everything so yeah that makes it a little bit more sort of charming as well which is quite nice but there we go we will wrap things up for now with our little look at kai yuan i think we have had a decent look at it to see what it's all about and how it works and all that kind of stuff so we'll wrap things up for now hopefully you did enjoy this if you did please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. There we go, the king and kettle. It's this, it's Rob the Guard. Rob the Guard, he's a hero. He is Rob the Guard. He's got a feather in his cap. He's got a beard. This could be the planty room. <laughs>
<laughs> we could have so many plants. Hang on. <laughs> I feel like there's a book here to be written. We've got the executioner and the nun. 